Tucson was almost born as an M line. While we were designing the base car, uh, before even thinking about the, the sporty version, we all noticed that it, it had naturally become so sporty that we had to calm the game. And while doing this, we already had actually the elements to spice it up for the, for the N line version. So we only simply made it more stable, improved the stance of the vehicle by, and by playing with the horizontal elements and also by pushing the elements as far out as possible to really emphasize the stance of the vehicle. The grille became more horizontal and all the details while darkening them also became uh, from a less triangular and more trapezoidal shape. So that, that all contributed to this more, let's say, uh, muscular perception you have from the car. The first thing you will notice uh, while looking at the side is the integration of all the, the contrasted parts uh, in body color. With this, we basically um, put the emphasis on less utility and more sports. We highlighted the lightweight character of the, of the wheel by reducing the amount of diamond cut elements. So you will notice the, the contrasting elements are much th uh, thinner, emphasizing the, 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 the dark aspect of the wheels to give a bit more of a dominant role to the, to the technical elements of the car, like the, like the brakes. Uh, that was important for us. We horizontalize all the elements on the lower part of the bumper, uh, pushing them to the extremes of the side. On the interior, you will see mainly the trim, which has been the red stitching, the darkening of the elements as well, in order the sportier uh, contoured seats. All the elements are basically giving you an atmosphere of uh, what I would call a professional atmosphere. We don't want to be racy, we want to, to, to give a feeling of a professional tool, which is, which is precise, which is sharp, which is the perfect um, companion for the, for, for the job. Leonio Tucson, also the Tucson Island, has plenty of human-oriented technologies. For example, the fully digital cockpit features a 10.25 open cluster without a hood and a large infotainment touchscreen for an intuitive and an high-tech user experience. As uh, the, the Onion Tucson, also Tucson Island has the most comprehensive safety package in its class. It features a system like the Highway Driving Assist, uh, which is a system that can automatically adapt the speed for every incoming bends on the highway while upon exiting from the curb, the speed will come back to the preset level. Another example of feature unique to this segment is the blind spot view monitor, which shows in the supervision cluster the rear side of the car when the driver is activating the turning signal. Those are just two examples, but there are plenty of other safety features who can help the driver in preventing from collision or improving visibility. The Tucson Airline features uh, indirect uh, air vents with uh, multi air mock technologies. This system uh, creates uh, indirect air flow while keeping the overall wind volume stable in the cabin. When it comes to powertrains, the Tucson N-Line will be available with diesel and gasoline with 40 volts mild hybrid as option, hybrid and plug-in hybrid variant. I would say that next to the 265 PS plug-in hybrid and the 230 PS hybrid version, the 180 PS 1.6 turbo GDI 40 volts mild hybrid is definitely a highlight too. In case of new Tucson, we had the chance to improve ride and handling using the ECS possibilities. Normally we can either improve the handling and give up some ride comfort or opposite. But with the ECS, we can improve both. From an engineer's point of view, ECS is a pretty cool tool. You can change the vehicle characteristic with only a few clicks and you don't have to wait until the guys in the workshop have changed some part. For vehicle stability, we measure the acceleration of the vehicle body in all six degrees of freedom. For linear motion like heave or for uh, rotational motions like roll or pitch motion. And for the end line, we use the different set of parameters reacting to these vehicle motions quicker and stronger. 
Tucson is a family car and you don't want your kids in the back to be shaken on every little obstacle. We had to find a, a good compromise and we wanted to maintain the really good ride comfort of the baseline and keep it in, in our end line and just spice it up a little bit. For tuning the ECS suspension perfectly, we'll be driving up and down the road again and again till we are really satisfied with the result. Compared to the base model, the N-Line is more firm, has a better body control and low con roll control. Um, the steering has a little bit higher weight. We increase the steering effort slightly to give a more sporty feeling, more connected feel. And uh, in the sports mode, we focused on a still good ride comfort. The steering in the sports mode is more centered, what we call a V-shape. So the steering feels more precise and then it gives a more agile feeling with more flat effort increase in the off-center. On the motorway we can feel the very precise steering, especially in construction areas we have the benefits of this precision. With the end line we have a better roll control, so when you do some lane changes the roll is better controlled and of course in sports mode even more. On curvy roads in the mountains it really feels nice. The night weighted steering, the torque build up that in normal mode really good corresponds with the lateral acceleration. The preciseness of the steering the preciseness and the body control of the ECS. When you switch to the sports mode, you can feel a even more centered uh, steering. Especially the on-center is a little steeper in the effort build up, while the off-center is not significant higher. The question always is what makes a sporty steering and the answer from our point of view is not just make it heavier.